Hi, I'm here to see the real estate guys. All the way in the back. Great, thank you. Hi, how have you been? Good, you know, I'm a bit of a spark plug, so business has been very good. What can I help you with? I wanted to see if you had any upcoming inventory with a five to 6% cap rate. Cash rate? Cap rate. Sure, I have a bunch of homes coming up with a 5% cash rate. No, 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 cap rate. Are you saying crash or cash? <sighs> Steve, what the heck are you doing back there? Hello, Ms. Redhead. No, it's just red. Are you saying bread? The B is silent. That, that makes sense, whatever, bread. So, Brett, what she's trying to say is her clients would like to cap the amount of cash that the tenants give to them, and anything above 5%, they would just give right back. How is that even a thought? Guys, just look at the screen, and I'll explain the difference. Cap rate, oftentimes confused with cash on cash return. In short, the cap rate is net operating income divided by property value. With real estate, cap rate is calculated by dividing the net operating income, NOI, which is all income minus all expenses, and then dividing that number by the property value. Caution for you really quick. Higher cap rate will generally mean a higher risk on the asset. So it's not uncommon to see lower cap rates in areas that are considered to be prime real estate markets. Similar to AAA bonds, the rate of return is lower since it's considered a sure thing. Now, it's the job of a great real estate agent, like myself, that can help buyers find attractive cap rates in prime real estate markets. Did you guys get all that? She's good.